If you're new to the world of mahjong, Hong Kong style is the best place to start. It's a lot like Remy, where you pick four sets and a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence or three of a kind. There's a link below the video to the lesson playlist and a link to this player reference with instructions on the back and scoring in the middle. I'm going to do some random pulls so you can get an idea of what it's like to play. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do these random pulls. So I have all my tiles out. They've been mixed. Let's roll the dice just to randomize where we would be seated. I rolled a four, so that would be north. And we're going to say that it's east round. We'll do one for each round. East round, seat four. For non-dealer, we would get 13 tiles. A lot of times when you play this game, somebody sets a point minimum. Let's just say for these exercises that we need to get three points or fawn. It's also called a fawn. So I would say I would play a half flesh. That would be three fawn. We have four discards. Five, six. So here we have a potential Pung. That's, that would be a potential three of a kind. Here's a potential Chow, three in a sequence. That's isolated, and these are isolated. We would need to pair those up to use them with one suit. So this would be called a half flesh if we held dots and winds and dragons. If you would have done something differently here, let me know. This is nice north we're in seat north so that could bring score if we paired it up and so could this any pung of dragons is worth a fawn okay let's do number two so for this one we're going to be seated in seat five that would be east so i'll put up a one and we're going to say that it is south round South round, seat one. Seat one is the dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles. Oh, we have a pair of east. That's the seat wind for east. So if we pung that, that would be too fond because we would get, oh no, no, it's south round, not east round. So, oh, we do have a south though. If we pair that up, we could get score for that. Pung it and get a score for south, wind of the round. But definitely I would pung the east because that is our seat wind. Okay, so for the rest of the hand, I'm thinking half flesh. We have four discards, but look at all these cracks. Potential chow, one, two, three. Here's a potential chow, either six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine. Pung, the east, pair those up. So there's lots of good potential there. If you would do something differently with this one, let me know. I mean, if you think about it, we could do chow, 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 pair. That would be one fawn, but we have a three fawn minimum. We have to go for it. Half flush. That's three fawn. Did I say three fawn or two fawn? I don't remember. Okay, we're going to move on to west round. And we're going to say that we are in seat 10, which is south.
dragons, winds. Look at all those honors. Dragons and winds are called honors. I would play a half flush. We only have two offsuit tiles. This is isolated though, but we have a potential chow, potential chow, potential pung. We would just need to pair these up. Let's move these over here. We have a potential big hand here. Half flush would be three fawn plus a pung of dragons would be another fawn. That'd be four. No flowers is a fawn. So that would be a five fawn hand at the moment. So that would be a nice scoring hand. We do have an in a closed weight here where we need an eight bam there, but this is a side weight where we could get a five or an eight. And then of course we have single honors, which are not helpful. We need to pair those up, but I would try for a half flush here. If you would do something different, write it in the comment section. So this time, let's say we're in seat nine, which is east, and we're on north round. Three, four, we're seat one. We won't get score for those. Okay, let's block this out. One, two, three. These are isolated. So we would need to get some pairs in here, but we do have Pung and Chow Potential. There's a Pung right there. And there's actually a Chow right there. But I think it's better to block it out this way because we have one, two, three blocks. So we'd need to just pair those up there, get rid of these. Half flush again. Half flush, that's my favorite, can you tell? Okay, I hope that gives you an idea on what it's like to play Mahjong. You just try to get four sets in a pair. Sets could be three in a sequence or three of a kind. There's also four of a kind because there's four of everything. So you could get four of a kind, that's called a Kong. So anyway, it's a really great game. If you haven't learned how to play yet, be sure to check the link to the lesson playlist below the video. If you wanna buy a set, I'll have some links below the video for that too. You can buy a set and teach your friends how to play. Let me know if you decide to do that and what everybody thinks about it. And you could always let me know if you have any questions. Watch the video so that you can learn quick learn fast, play hard. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. Click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that'll give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. May all your picks be keepers.